welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Oh my goodness, it seems as if they found Erica Jane's American Express bill. Imagine that. Imagine a major corporation keeping major information of all the transactions that occurs with their clientele. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Oh my goodness, my lovelies. Oh my goodness. All right, let's just get started here. Investigators found Erica's American Express bill. Now, meanwhile, all the time she's lying that she didn't know where the money went. Um, they have found, so far found $25 million that was poured out of Mr. Girardi's law firm and poured into her American Express bill. Lovelies, if you follow Tracy Finance one-on-one, -on -one, you will know that the rich don't get salaries. No, 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 no. They pour all their money on credit cards. Therefore, they don't get taxed for a high rate, like a salary, earned income, a salary, that's the highest tax bracket. So they rather get a very little taxation on their money. So Mr. Girardi poured all of this money into Erica's failing career. And you know what? In actuality, you want it to kind of be a failing career so you could prove when you do show, do do your taxes, you could show that, uh, you know what, we invested and it didn't do well. But anyway, we all know Erica was living the life of Riley. She had a big old rock that was the price of a home on her finger. And Erica likes to play dumb because she thinks we are going to fall for it. There was episodes back you know maybe when she first came on there maybe uh first season or so she knew where money was going she even said that forty thousand dollars went to her glam squad so while or a sudden while all of a sudden erica you get an amnesia you don't know you're just accepting money well either or even you want to play that route you can't play that my lovely no 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 because uh ignorance the law doesn't care about. So that goes to anybody. If you somebody presents you a gift that you know, you know is way out of their price range, you better think again. That might be, uh, you know, paid for by illegal gains. And what the government does, they don't care. They don't even care if you bought the thing off of somebody, okay? The government's going to take all seized assets I mean, all assets that were gotten by illegal gains and even money. And speaking of assets, the Girardi's, did you guys check out the Girardi's um, auction? Not auction, but sale or whatever that, what they call it was, the state sale? Oh, that was just their discarded belongings, my lovey. Just discarded belongings. There's no way you're going to tell me Mr. Girardi, high price attorneys, driving around in an old Cadillac that has well over $150,000 miles on it. No way. Okay? Not believing it. And they also had a whole bunch of other things. The memorabilia may have some value. But I don't know if anyone wants to pay a lot of money for Bob Hope signature. So anyway, um, let's see where the money went on Erica's behalf. So from 2008 to 2020, about $14.2 million went to um, uh, her agency that uh, deals with um, dancers and exclusively with dancers. Um, 1.4 went to unknown purchases. Um, um, 102,000 went to her assistant. And um, makeup artist got $1,000. E5 Global Media, that means she's paying for stories, which a lot of celebrities do to get their name in the media. I don't think she has to pay now because everybody's talking about Erica. But anyway, she paid eight thousand and four hundred and eighty dollars she paid the LA Times ten thousand and four hundred dollars so um, yeah and um, according to the lawyer that's representing the trustee whose name is Ronald Richard 
he told Pay6 that she owes Gerard Kessie, that's um, Mr. Girardi's law firm, $28 million for her purchases plus interest. So anyway, um, she does not seem to understand that, you know, she can't just play broke on the show and act like we are just going to believe it. You know, oh, I just only took a couch. You've already separated from him. You guys made out this plan. And now she's tweeting that, yes, I'm staying to the end of, you know, the Housewives of Beverly Hills. You know, I'm not ducking out like Denise did. But listen, Erica, you're, you need a paycheck now. You need a paycheck. So you need that earned income. That's why you're here. You're not doing it out of grace, goodness out of your heart or to prove your innocence. And you didn't even talk about the victims. They brought it up on the last episode. Okay? Everybody's feeling sorry. You know, Lisa Renner, you better watch out. You better watch out. Your name is being tossed in the mix, too. Um, but anyway, they're finding the money, Erica. They're finding the money. $28 million goes back to your husband's law firm. Well, $14 million was sent out of the law firm and given to you. To your LLC. Okay, so you knew you were waiting on that money. You knew where it was coming from. So even though you you could play it dumb, uh, you're not okay. You you and um your husband talk this through with their your attorneys and everything. All right, I can see it. Sutton can see it. Okay, get on there, Sutton. Get on. Get get with it, Sutton. And I'm glad that uh, Garcelle is on that track too. Everybody sees it. Um, but the other cast members, I mean, the Eric, not Erica, but Sutton and Garcelle see it. They see it. All those other chicks, they're looking the other way. And Lisa might be looking the other way because she might be guilty too. So anyway, anyway, anyhow, they found some money, Erica. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. How are you going to repay all that money? Now, what they do is seize property and get as much as possible to repay the victims. But um, what you're showing on TV, that little rental you have, and that um, that a Range Rover's not coming anywhere close. You can't even, the rental is just not even your property. But that Range Rover you're only driving around in, oh my lovelies, how are these people going to get their money? Cause you can't tell me this little hoe, Erica, done um, flushed it all down the toilet. Now, where's that rock on your hand that uh, was valued at a house? Okay, you guys find out where all that jewelry went. Maybe you could get some coins for the victims. Because I hate to say it, but I know a lot of it did went down the toilet for some uh, pack the puss act. Okay. That nobody wanted to see. All right, my loves, I'm gonna end it right here. Drop your comments below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit the notification bell as well so you can continue getting this hot tea. All right, my lovelies, I will see you later.